congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank Simon Chin and James Marsh. Thank you. Back to reach for Man on Wire, right. which I've absolutely loved. Thank you. Um, what it said to me was, you can make a film um, that's often just still photographs and yet be completely full of impact and knock people out, which is exactly what happened. And now you're on these. Well, I guess what, we were, what was being photographed was so remarkable. And because the film is so busy and energetic, and we st stop time and toward, at the conclusion of the film and just let people enjoy and wonder at, the, at what's going on, which is this audacious, beautiful walk between the Twin Towers. So it felt right to just to kind of freeze it there and just let people just ponder and enjoy and marvel at what Fleet achieved. So obviously with this award, it's very possible that more people will see this film, Man on Wire, but for those who haven't seen it, why is a man walking across the Twin Towers on a tightrope? Well, as he says, there is no why, and that's in a sense what, what's so kind of wonderful about him and, and his story. He just did it for the, the spectacle, the beauty, and I guess the art. The and art what makes it a movie is because uh, I guess one of the many reasons why it's uh, you know a movie um, subject matter is it, it's a criminal conspiracy that, un that unfolds over the best part of nine months in New York. It's not just walking in and doing it. He has to break into each town. It's highly illegal what he's doing with two different teams, and it's a big long heist that takes place really and the, 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 the actual objective is not to steal something but to give something to create something wonderful and you know, magical. There's an extra dimension to this film which is about the Twin Towers just as they were built uh, which is not made explicit in the film which of course is that they're now gone. Indeed, well in our film you, you actually see them being built, you see them going up. Philippe's idea predates their construction and therefore it was an opportunity to actually see the original foundations being laid and just see them growing up with him and it's just a nice thing to see them coming up rather than coming down. We actually launched the film at Sundance uh, this time last year and we didn't know how people were going to respond to it. Um, but it was, it was extraordinary to see that the audiences really kind of, I sort of felt it was a sort of catharsis in a way. Often it was a film that didn't mention the Twin Towers, 9-11, uh, but, but were all, all about the Twin Towers, a sort of alternate narrative for the Twin Towers. And I think, I think audiences really, really sort of responded to that. Now, it's been said before that documentary has been really enjoying a golden age, would you agree? I think so, yes. I mean, I, you know, at Sundance, when we were at Sundance, there were many, many great documentary films. In fact, at that, at that festival, they were vastly superior to most of the fictional films, I would say, without, you know, self-importance. And I think it is a really interesting time for documentaries. Um, and I think we're trying to, in the work that we do, to make documentaries the equal to movies and just break down that barrier. There's no distinction. We try to make a film, first and foremost, and a documentary that's what you call it, but it's a movie we wanted to make and give people the kind of excitement and thrills and emotional journey of a, of a real, you know, real film, but it's a real film. Well, I think when, when documentary works, it, you know, in a sense, it, it can be one of the most powerful form because it's, you know, it's, it's kind of unvarnished truth, really, I guess. And of course, you know, 10 years ago, you wouldn't expect people to go to the cinema to see documentaries, but they are now in, in great numbers. But I think there's certain British films like Touching the Void that have kind of created that opening and, and you know, I think it's a really big strength of British filmmaking is the feature documentary um, and you know, we're glad to be part of that. I think it's, it's something that you know, maybe in the future BAFTA will, will be able to recognise separately because it is a, a really strong part of British film culture, it always has been since we started making films. It's something we're very, very good at and you know, um, we're about to go and you know, uh, go to LA for the, for the, for the big one. This is, big this is big enough, though, I can tell yeah, you. I'm sure this it is. This is big enough for us. Yeah, yeah, it's it is. wonderful. Well, congratulations. So, thank you Terrific very much. film and a Thank, you. Win. thank, thank you, you very much. Indeed. Cheers. Thank you.